All right, in this video, I'm gonna review these Outright Bars by Tiger Fitness. I purchased these a few weeks ago on my first initial order and I love them so much. I bought some more bars and tried some different flavors. So I wanted to kind of hold off on doing a review till I give you guys a, give you guys a kind of a full encompassing review of the various flavor options they had. Uh, I'll kind of go over some, over some pros and cons about the bar, but I will say right off the bat, this is definitely the best protein bar I've ever had. Uh, it's actually blown my number, my previous number one spot out of the water that I used to have many years ago. So I'll talk about, again, basically pros and cons, how I use these bars and uh, just why I like them so much. I'll put links in the description box. Again, if you guys want to purchase this product and also support the channel, I'll also put timestamps down below if you guys want to jump right to that section. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So I was planning on buying these bars for at least two years and I just kind of never got to it because I always had like a love-hate relationship with protein bars. I used to be obsessed with them. I would try different types of bars. Uh, and honestly, at this point, I've been trying some other ones. I'm like, none of them really taste that good and never really stick, so I just stopped buying them. And a lot of them really never settle well in my stomach. Uh, unlike these, these actually digest really well. Uh, but since back in the day, you know, I've tried things like the Nitro Tech bar. I remember when those were, I remember when the Detour bar first got released. Um, my all-time favorite bar was the Zero Impact Pumpkin Bar. That was my favorite bar that actually paired really good with like a big glass of milk. In fact, this one pairs really good with glass of milk too, which I'll get into later as far as how I like to eat these things. Uh, but be that as it may, you know, I've been kind of holding off on these and I know since I saw they have a lot more flavors, people really like them. Uh, they got some new rebranding. I did. I placed an initial order of just some single bars and a couple uh, packs of 12. Uh, even though I didn't get free shipping on it, I just wanted to you know get an initial, initial small order to see if I even like them. And then once I realized these things are awesome, I ended up buying more uh, in a bigger order and so I can get kind of take advantage of the free shipping and I'm definitely gonna be buying more in the future. But the flavors I've tried so far are the s'mores, uh, the cookies and cream, these actually I bought in the first, I bought two boxes of these right off the back because I just, you know, they have really good ratings. I thought they would kind of taste good, assuming what they were, uh, and I definitely wasn't wrong with that. Other flavors I tried were, I tried the chocolate chip, I want a single of that. That was pretty good, but that just more or less, this just kind of tastes more like, a, it tastes more like just like a, like a peanut butter bar with a hint of chocolate. I tried the pumpkin bar because I, like I said, my favorite bar in the past was the Zero Impact Pumpkin Bar, so I thought this might be like that. Uh, this was pretty good, but not nearly, kind of too much of a pumpkin-y taste. And a part of the problem, guys, with this, honestly, if I'm gonna say this right now, if you're gonna buy and try to try a sample of bars, don't try them all at once. I was excited and started trying different samples with my, when my kids were around, and it kind of, it's like trying wine, guys. You don't wanna mix it together. You're not gonna really get the full effect, so try them kind of one time at one sitting to get the full effect. Otherwise, they can kind of taste really similar and offset the the taste profile same thing i got the gingerbread but i kind of mixed tasting that together it really has a strong gingerbread uh scent to it or just a taste to it and it's probably one of the softest ones they're all super soft i noticed some weren't as soft as others but that could have been maybe they weren't you know weren't as fresh as the other ones like I try to sample the toffee. I usually love things like toffee candy bars and score bars. Uh, this was good, but the other stuff was still better. This one was a little more of a, like a harder consistency, but still definitely soft relatively. Uh, cookie dough was another awesome one. This one's definitely a go-to. If you guys like cookie dough, it tastes exactly like cookie dough. Taste starts to taste a little bit, a little similar to some of the other ones, uh, but I still have my kind of top three, which I'll mention at the very end, but I tried this one, this one was good. And then I tried this uh, outright cinnamon sugar donut cashew butter one. Notice that all oh, this is great about these bars is they kind of can fit different people for things they like. Like if you don't want peanut butter, if you want like a different butter, they have a cashew butter flavored ones, they have almond butter ones. This was probably my favorite one, to be honest, if I had to put one in there. All my top three favorites though, they're gonna be my go-tos in the house for sure are gonna be this one. I'm gonna buy a box of 12 of these in my next order. But these two, have, I've bought you know multiple boxes of these already. Uh, you can see some, oh, maybe you can't see the cameras up there, but I got two other boxes up there behind me. But these are staples, just the cookies and cream and the outright s'mores. There's some other ones I'll try, but honestly, I just like these so much. You really can't get sick of them. These are like my go-to flavors. So I'll, I'll jump into the pros and cons. I'll first start with the pros first, actually. One thing I like is just, I actually like the size. A lot of people will say that it's too small. Like when you take it out of the container, they'll say, well, it looks, it just looks physically small. I actually like, I think it's the perfect size. While it might be, it's not as big as a normal bar. It, and I'll, I'll, I'll admit when I first opened it up, I'm like, oh, this is kind of disappointing. It looks kind of small for the price, uh, but it does actually fill you up. I mean, it has the calorie count in there that kind of shows you that, but that's what I kind of like about it. It is like the perfect size, which I didn't mention. Actually, if you guys want a bigger bar, I did find this, that big O bar. Uh, this bar is essentially manufactured by Tiger Fitness. It tastes exactly kind of, kind of the same consistency. It's like a birthday cake, peanut butter flavor. 
I forgot to mention that this one is also awesome. This is my wife's, actually, this is my wife's favorite one that she tried. So that's another option if you guys want a bigger bar that has a little more calories. Uh, just keep that in mind. I actually like this size. A lot of times I'm eating this between, uh, between like appointments at work. And so if I want like a lunch, that's kind of like a really light lunch. I'll have this and like some fruit, like an apple. Uh, it digests really well and I can eat it really quickly. And it really, honestly, like this is kind of my next point, digestibility. I know this isn't gonna work for everybody, but whenever I just found in the past, when I buy these, like I said, these protein bars that these loaded with this heavy fiber, or they add these sugar alcohols in there, which this doesn't have, it's a little bit higher in sugar, I'll get to that, but it has these sugar alcohols, and to me, the just digestibility is, you know, second to none. This has absolutely no problems with me as far as how it sits in my stomach, and part of that, too, I think, is it's not like it's not a massive bar, and with the size, I would say the macros are great with this bar, too. I mean, I think the macros are dead on as far as what I like. Uh, I can see some people being um, maybe having some concerns about, like, the... Uh, the sugar content, which I'll get to that in a second, but the macronutrients as far as, it's a nice split between protein, fats, and carbs. That's kind of perfect in my opinion. Um, if you notice, if you look at some of the other bars, some bars have are skewed higher and lower in protein. You also can get the option, which I didn't, I could have gone into this too. I mean, there's so many options of the different bar types there are, whether if you're like a vegan or you don't, like I said, you don't like peanut butter or you can't have peanut butter or you want some that's lower sugar, they have that keto bar, which I'll probably try that just to actually just sample out and try it. So if you want some that's lower sugar and, and sweet with like a natural stevia, you guys can do that as well. The sugar content, I know when I saw like, well, that's kind of, it's a little higher in sugar. I'm not really that too concerned with, concerned with that, um, especially if it's kind of packaged together with other macronutrients like protein and fats. If you think that's too high for you, that's up to you. But I always find, especially with people that will tell me like well this has too much sugar in it and then they're going on eating other stuff that is digesting very similar uh my point is it's up it, that's obviously a personal decision that might seem like a lot to you if you're physically active have a health have a good metabolism and the grand scheme of things in your diet is that really going to impact you as far as that that naturally sweetened sugar from honey to me it's not really a game breaker in my opinion especially when you're kind of fitting it in around workouts uh, or if you're having it like i said as like a as a filler in the end of, in the middle of a day if you're taking like a smaller lunch which maybe i can get into that now kind of how i use this product and how i use bars in general is i usually use these as either obviously a snack like i usually have these either at nighttime before i'm going to bed uh, a lot of times though i'll use bars as a way of when i get on a caloric reduction if i'm going to start some sort of weight loss thing i'll kind of use this as a subtle meal replacement uh, and or a lot of times I use bars in the middle of the lunch day, or at least now I am since I've started this one I found and I really like it. Where my, I usually have big breakfast and big lunch, big dinners, for sure a big dinner. And then the middle of the day, I don't, I don't really feel like I need that much. So something like a bar like this to me is the perfect little break. Uh, in the day that kind of holds you over and I usually feel fine and I'm not hungry. And I think this thing definitely is also really satisfying as well. And now so I'm gonna start getting into what, some of the cons. Uh, one con I'll address, it really isn't a con for me. I think it's a con for other people. So I thought I'll talk about that here is that people will look at the ingredient list and they hear it's a whole food bar and they look at the ingredient list and they start seeing all this stuff in there and they start wondering, well, they'll say this is hydrogenated. It's, you know, it's, it's hydrogenated oils and it's, is all this artificial extra stuff. The ingredient profile is huge, but really, I mean, even for, you know, this one right here, guys, uh, it's what you're seeing is just the components that make up peanut butter. So when it says like, you know, less than 2% of fully hydrogenated vegetable oils, or that's basically the same thing you see in like, you know, a can of Jiffy or Jif or whatever. That's just the peanut butter. I mean, if, again, if that less than 2% bothers you on regular peanut butter, you know, then you, you can't really say anything. That's something that's gonna bother you regardless, but you have peanut butter, um, you have the honey. Like I said, there's that sugar thing that people are gonna be concerned with, but I, to me, it doesn't really bother me. Uh, and then the whey protein isolate, I and mean, that's the next ingredient, that's just pure whey isolate. So to me, that's not a problem, but I point it was the ingredient profile. If it seems like a lot, I mean, this is very minimal as far as percentage of stuff that's actually in there. So that's up to you. And again, the, they have other options on their website as far as other bars that don't have these things. Like the cashew bar I mentioned is also has a lot more less minimal ingredients. You can get their keto bar option if you wanna try something that has less sugar. One realistic con is just going to be likely the price for some people, or some people might think, well, is this really justifying, you know, $2 for this bar? Maybe you can make your own, you know, uh, like my family, my wife makes these like little protein ball things. She rolls up oats and whey and peanut butter as well. Uh, and so you can kind of make your own thing. Uh, like anything, I mean, you're buying this to kind of save you, you know, time. It's an easy kind of go-to thing. So with anything, yeah, you can prepare your own meal, make it cheaper. Uh, but is it worth the, you know, a $2 a bar 
uh, also considering my next problem, which is going to be they're so good, but you, and also the free shipping. So what I do, you tr I would recommend trying it out to see if you even like it, because obviously my tastes aren't going to fit yours. But if you do like it and you know you do, I would recommend, which I'm going to start going to, which is a subscribe and save. And I'm definitely going to be, I'm, I'm no problem ordering over $100 to get the free shipping because uh, my family is obsessed with them, which leads me down to my, my, the major con I'm finding right now is that this is costing me a lot of money because my whole family loves them so much. So my kids love them. My wife loves them. I love them. I'm not even, I'm not saying this. I would definitely not lie to you guys. When I say, when I have one of these, like let's say for lunch, middle of the day, I'm still craving another one at nighttime. They're just addicting. They taste really good. So it's hard to limit myself. Just one a day is honestly good. And I never, honestly, I've never gotten sick of even just the one flavor I have. Uh, and so when my kids see me at nighttime eating one or if I, they see one out, uh, they always want one. I don't mind giving these to my kids compared to things like I'm giving them like a granola bar with like some fruit. Now I'll just kind of cut this. I'll try and divide it in half with some fruit with, with, with the with some fruit or some other things as like a snack or just have a whole one, whatever. My point is, yeah, it adds up when your whole family, you know, loves them for my, you know, my four kids to my, my wife. So, and I'll obviously myself. So this gets pricey, it adds up. And so you have to be strategic with yourself and, you know, self-control and how you use them. But that's kind of the biggest con. So that's really it guys. Hopefully you guys liked this video. Hopefully it was informative. I would say, you know, try it out for yourself to see if you like it. They have so many flavor options. Uh, if you're already looking at the ingredient profile and you're like, you know, or the macronutrients, and it's not for you, obviously it won't fit for you. But if you're someone who is casually liked protein bars and think you might use them as part of like your overall general diet, uh, in my opinion, I can't, I don't know what better tasting bar in my opinion. Uh, other than the secondary one, that big O bar that Tiger Fitness, I think, also manufactures, this is definitely the best tasting bars for consistency, the taste, uh, and also the macronutrients that you can get. And also, again, the price isn't bad either. So uh, hope you guys like that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.